What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Neighborhood Podcast. I'm one of the hosts of the podcast. My name is Kyle Davro. And in today's segment, we are going to go over Odell Beckham. Odell is now back in the news as he recovers from his torn ACL that he suffered last year in the Super Bowl when the Rams beat the Bengals in Super Bowl 56. And as we get closer to his return, now it's going to be the question of whether he's going to play for a playoff type caliber team when we get into possibly December and then into January. So he's still probably a couple of weeks out, but there have been rumors circulating that there are some teams interested in him. Teams like the Packers, the Bucks, the Bills. There's a few teams that are looking to upgrade their wide receiver position for a potential playoff run if Odell were available when he returns from his ACL injury. So Kev, to kick this one to you, with Odell expected to come back within the foreseeable future, who do you think is going to land him when he's ready to go? Well, I think it all depends on what Odell wants, right? We all know that he's going to get a vet minimum because he's coming in halfway through the year. We all know that he is going to play for a talented team because he's not going to go to a, a losing team, so to speak. And then, you know, you have those four teams that Kyle had mentioned, including the defending Super Bowl champs that want him back. Um, outside of the Rams, we know that the Bucks are interested, but their offensive line is crap. The Packers are interested, but they're not doing the greatest. It's just a matter of the caliber of quarterback that Aaron Rodgers would be. And I think that if you insert Odell, he could potentially come out as the number one receiver with the cast that they have there. And then if you were to put him into the situation in which he would go over to the, of course, now I'm going to sit here and forget the other team. Oh my God. It's Bucks, Rams, Packers. Oh, and then the Bills. Uh, I don't necessarily think he'd fit there. I think they have a pretty good system as it is right now. I think that Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis and Dawson Knox already have plenty of chemistry with uh, Josh Allen. I think that they are obviously the best team available in terms of, you know, the best team in the league. Uh, Von Miller and Odell have a very close relationship, which is why Odell ended up in L.A. instead of Green Bay initially. But... I don't think it's going to be the same this year for that. I think that Odell is going to want to play at least and get some good targets. I think Odell got his ring last year. He's obviously no team is going to be able to pay him more than three, four, five million dollars. So it's a matter of where he's going to get the most shine. I think to me, the best fit would be Green Bay because A, Aaron Rodgers is going to throw to you all day. He's going to develop that chemistry. You're a talented wide receiver and you could be the reason why Green Bay uh, surges back in the division. They have a good run game. They have one of the better pass defenses in the league. And I think that with that chemistry, this will also up his stock for free agency for the next year. Because if he plays for a winning team like Buffalo, right? And he does what he did in LA, which is like, you know, a couple catches here and again, a touchdown week in and week out, maybe like, I don't know, like 40, 50 yards. That's not going to help Odell sign in the offseason for a better long-term contract. Odell wants commitment. Odell wants a team to say, you know what? He did what he did. He helped contribute to that organization. He wasn't a distraction, and it looks like he's healed from that injury. So that's why I think that Green Bay is just the perfect fit. Tampa, obviously, again, without the offensive line, I don't think it makes a difference who the hell's in there at receiver. You can bring Randy Moss out of retirement in his prime right now. Tom is not going to be able to hit him in stride because he's got no time. And then, of course, at the end of the day, the Rams, they have no offensive line. It's the same situation there. I don't know if he wants to go and put himself in that situation because if it's not Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson is now just starting to incorporate himself into that offense. You add another mouth to feed, I just don't think it would make sense. So for me, he's got to suit up for Green Bay. He can help them fight for a playoff spot, and I think that that would maximize his value for the upcoming summer and free agency. I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this whole Odell situation plays out. You know, obviously coming off of a, another torn ACL similar to the one uh, that he tore back when he was a member of the Cleveland Browns. We don't know if we're going to see prime Odell here. If he's 85 to 90% of what he was, then I think teams are going to be really eager to add him onto the roster to set him up for a really good run, potentially for a Super Bowl, if that team and Odell play their cards right. And Kev, I'm with you 100% on him going to the Packers, just because I think that's the best fit for him at this point. When you look at the Buccaneers, when you look at the Rams, it's clear as day that their offensive line issues have really thrown a monkey wrench into their season just because the Rams have struggled the entire year. The Bucs are on a three-game losing streak. This is the first time that Brady's ever lost three games in a row in his career. And I don't think it really matters if you throw him into the mix just because there are other issues at play that are holding those offenses back. And I think Odell, he wouldn't complicate things. I just don't think it would lead to just this revolution of the offense and both the Rams and the Bucks offense would go, you know, 
35, 40 points a game just because he's in the lineup. That's not going to happen. And then the only reason that I would see maybe a team like the Bills adding him onto the roster is essentially just for an insurance policy. Because when I look at the Bills right now, I mean, you got Stephon Diggs, you've got Gabriel Davis, you've got Isaiah McKenzie, and Dawson Knox. I mean, those are four legitimate targets that Josh Allen can throw to. And I mean, if the Bills were to add him on, that offense would be essentially unstoppable. And we've already kind of picked the Bills to be the Super Bowl team um, as far as the championship is concerned for this season. And if that were to happen, if Odell were to go to the Bills, you could pretty much write it in a pen at this point that the Bills are probably going to win the Super Bowl because there's nobody going to be able to stop that offense. I don't see any team slowing down that Bills offense if Odell were inserted into that lineup. But overall, I just hope that Odell gets an opportunity Hopefully shows that he still got a lot left in the tank. Obviously, it would be for a short run just because, you know, we're halfway through the season. And more than likely, if he were to get signed to a team, it'd probably be towards the middle stages of November, late stages of November, maybe even early December. So it's still kind of up in the air when he's actually going to come back. But Kev, I'm with you 100%. I think the Packers definitely need to add him onto the roster or definitely consider adding him onto the roster because the chemistry issues that Aaron Rodgers and the Packers receivers have right now, I mean, it's clear as day that there's a lot of dysfunction between Aaron Rodgers and that wide receiving unit. And I think that Odell would definitely provide a spark, not only for that wide receiving core, but I think it would provide a spark for the team and get them jump-started for the second half of the year because they definitely need one with them you know, getting absolutely destroyed by the Vikings in their own division. The Vikings are 6-1, and one, and the Packers are in no way, shape, or form competitive in the NFC North right now. And I think the best-case scenario is that if Odell were on this lineup or on this roster, he can maybe jumpstart the Packers to possibly get them into a wild-card situation. I think that's their best-case scenario at this point because I think them winning the division this year, it's out of the question. It's not going to happen. So I think if the Packers are smart, they definitely should look at Odell's services. I think he would definitely be a help for them. And potentially, it could kickstart them to possibly make a playoff run. 